Oh yeah, you can put yours on them. Oh wait, no you can't, cause I have my quick grip. Oh wait, yeah you do, yeah you can. <laughs> it's so small, huh? I like the way it feels. Yeah, it's true. I love the grip on it. I'm about to start it up. What? Oh, uh, is yours working perfect? Yeah. What? Watch, grab it. <laughs> Did you like my clickbait? <laughs> <laughs> Straight pipe E36. Well, it's not necessarily clickbait, but... I mean, it's real. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yours works. Yours is probably more greased up than mine. <laughs> Taking off my hard top. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. <laughs> my what? car is layered in dirt. I know. Oh, you can test out the hose if you want. Alright, guys. Uh, so far, the hard top is off. The seat is out. It's just four bolts, like always, for each seat. And uh, yeah, I got the soft top up. This is why I bought a hard top. Look at this. Look how bad that looks. That's why I bought a hard top. It was kind of expensive, but I still did it. <laughs> I got an M seat here. We're gonna try to put this in uh, Brian's E36. Oh! <laughs> See if it worked. <laughs> I think it'll fit. I think my bucket seat will. Should I bring the bucket seat out here and uh, see what they both look like together? Hey Ryan, are you done helping my bucket seat? Hit it, hit it, dude. Bitch. Hit it harder. Look at Josh. I hope you hurt. Oh yeah. Dude, you probably need those kids. <laughs> No. They're always back there. One time I had my LEDs on, flickering and shit, and they were like, look up there. And I was just staring at them out the window. <laughs> it's funny. You're worse than shit. You're worse than little kids. <laughs> Oh, I got it in my car. <laughs> I bought a new ball. Damn, bro, I'm about to buy this freaking ball. Oh, that will fit. Mine's actually thinner than that one. The the oh, bolsters. Is that your old seat? Shit. No shit. The cat just took No, it's not. Shit. It's just a little banged up. Look, not that's actually... Compared to that one, though? That one's nicer. Well, yeah, it's new. Yeah. I'm saying, like, even if it was This is like a that, fucking 20 years old. Okay, but look. Okay, compare oh, prices yeah. from that one to that. Compare. This was the, 350. No, no, don't tell him. Just no. ask. How much do you think this costs? Uh, in, in used. Retail. Used. In retail. Brand new or used? In retail. Brand new but or used? used. So I'm gonna say 250. Mm. Close. Yeah. Pretty close. Kind of close. For, for one, one. 350 for two. With sliders. Okay, so I found, yeah, but, so tech, but hey, hey, don't so consider better. the rips though. If this was in prime condition, three, oh, no. three to four hundred bucks yeah, just like for, one. for one. People are selling two of these for nine hundred and fifty dollars. It's a rare ass seat. Yeah, or here was these plain black ones, but they weren't the M ones. Yeah, okay. This is an M one I bought you for a hundred okay, you know bucks. So I have on my car. Those are M M wheels. So mm. yeah, these. Anything this should anything. fit. Oh yeah, they're perfect. That's like, they're not gonna get fucked up more. Yeah, uh, 
other than this one. I just don't know how, this is probably from a screwdriver it looks like, and then this is just normal tear, but if you try to uh, stitch this up, it's ripping, so it's not really gonna be worth it. I Might could as probably well go up. get this reupholstered, but they'd need a whole piece for this. Oh yeah, this is probably like 150 bucks for a whole reupholster, or 300. I don't know. If you know someone, you could probably get it cheaper. Well, just to get this sewed back up. Oh, yeah. And then get this re-dyed right here or something. Fix these holes. No. You could patch bad. that. Yeah, but they're able to patch it. Oh. Put uh, something over it and then color match it, whatever it does. You probably get that for pretty cheap, actually. And then the side for the seatbelt holder, I had to rip that off. Oh, wait, no, they were already ripped off, I think. All right guys, so I've been test fitting it for a little while and so far what I had to do was move the bracket over more to the uh, the door more and have the seat come towards the uh, like the middle of the, the car because it was all the way over here touching the side of the door. Well, not really touching the door, but it was touching the carpet right there. So I had to scoot it over mo more and then now it fits pretty perfect. It rubs a little on the, the back thing, but it does that with the stock seat too. So that's perfectly fine. And uh, what's the other thing? Got the seat belt buckle thing off of the, the stock seat. And with the brackets, you just have to mount it right here. I have to buy some bolts so I can uh, hook it on and then it will just sit right there perfectly fine has the connectors so that's that's good i'll show you guys how i did that real quick here was two wires down there and then a torx bolt that was right here and it just hooked up right here and it's really easy to take off it's a big torx bolt but i'm not going to use that no more so i'm just going to leave it to the side this little bolt right here but anyways if you guys are looking for an m seat that you would like to buy I'm gonna be selling it probably or reupholstering it and then selling it but you guys can uh, just message me on YouTube and, or my Instagram it's gonna be down below someone already messaged me about it and I'm probably gonna sell it to him so shout out to you my dude I forgot your name I have to go on my Instagram real quick but yeah in a little I'm gonna be running to uh, Home Depot so I can buy the bolt I'm prop okay so Here's the problem with these brackets is with this seat, you have to bend them a little bit. I didn't have to bend this, I had to bend it back, but I'm gonna I'm gonna paint it so it won't rust. And then uh, the other thing is right here, you have to bend it a little bit so you can actually put the seat belt in. But what I'm gonna do is put uh, get a flat bolt that's flat on this side, poke it through this side and then screw it on while it's hitting this side instead of into the into the leather leather all right guys so far uh i actually am putting on the seat belts right now it's a little difficult but i am managing it uh this is a little bent i'm gonna have to bend it back though but it goes on like this then yeah so the driver one is in basically but I can't seem to find the right size bolt for the seat belt because the seat belt bolts onto the seat, which kind of sucks. If the seat belt bolted to the frame of the car, then it would be better. But, you know, they choose to uh, bolt it to the seat. So I have to use this side for the seat belt itself. And then it goes up, over you, and then the belt, the buckle is right here. And that's where this little guy goes. Bought some screws and bolts so I can uh, put them together. I, uh, it is already dark, so I'm going to get back to you guys tomorrow when I finish it. And then I'm going to post it. So, uh, yeah, it should be done tomorrow.
Guys, we have finally made it. This is uh, after two days, I believe. And uh, yeah, we finally did it. I have the hard top on and everything. It finally finished, but you wouldn't believe how bad it was to put these in. That's why I didn't want to record yesterday. It took two days. It took the second day, we were actually installing them. The first day I was just putting on the uh, the sliders and everything. But check these out. These are fire. They fit perfect. Uh, I made it to where it doesn't like squish inside of the hard top. But the hard top's on, everything's on. Everything's looking good so far. And they're actually way comfier than the stock ones. That's for sure. So uh, I'm gonna take a couple pictures for you guys. Show you guys how they feel and everything. I see perfect. Um, not too high or too low, which that's actually what I like. Shift perfect, clutch, everything. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna put these in the description for you guys if you guys wanna go and buy some and have a nightmare putting them in like me. And then I uh, got the stock, stock seat belt from the uh, stock seat and then I just wired it at the bottom. Uh, just plug and play. And then connected the seat belt that's where it goes. It's a little uh, insane to get down there, but it was pretty easy for me. But yeah, uh, looks pretty good. If you guys want any information on how to put these in or where to buy it from, everything's gonna be down below, so uh, just check that out. These are only 350 bucks. So if you want some nice seats for 350 bucks, and they come with sliders, if you want sliders, you don't really need to. But just, just uh, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, if you guys don't put sliders on, it's gonna stay with the bracket, and the bracket's pretty close to the steering wheel, so uh, be mindful of that. Uh, you might just uh, be too close if you're tall as fuck. This one's a little farther up there's fuel pump but it fits literally perfect in this like I still got I still got some room right here but this is like kind of filled up because of the seat belt and this the recline but uh, it's actually perfect for me right now it's really bright outside so I hope the camera uh, fixed itself because it usually does so all right guys let's go before we get bitched at because i feel like we would but yeah i'm gonna uh leave everything in this the description so if you guys want to go check that out you guys can and uh just message me for any questions message my instagram mainly because i don't really check the youtube messages that much but i will i mean i do but uh know more followers on Instagram but all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna go home and edit this cuz uh, I promised you guys this video and uh, more content is gonna be out soon I'm gonna be fixing the Mazda here shortly so here's gonna be a bunch of videos on that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one